Hey friends, last video uh, I did an unboxing um, for the Final Fantasy of Realm Reborn Heaven's Word Badass Collection Edition, and it came with this statuette. And I rewatched the video after I filmed it, and I stated that it was the first Final Fantasy statuette that I had. And there's an exception. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, Ditto got this for me a couple of years back, maybe two or three years ago. Uh, that's Squall Landhart, uh, the Decidia model. He got it for me for either my like birthday or Christmas or something like that. But this was my first one, and Squall Landhart is absolutely my favorite. Yeah, my favorite Final Fantasy character. Uh, Terra's a close second, and then Paul Thier, of course. But, uh, so, I wanted to start off with this a little correction from the, uh, first video. And, uh, um, last Sunday, Barnes & Noble had this giant sale. They called it, like, Manga Mania or something like that. And, uh, I actually went the Saturday before to pick up a copy of, uh, Final Fantasy Type O, uh, The Reaper of the Icy Blade. A manga, and uh, I had that, and uh, I was walking to the front, and I saw this poster that said, "Hey, come back for tomorrow for Manga Media," and I was like, "What's Manga Media?" So I looked up on my phone, "What the heck is Manga Media?" And it was buy two get one for free of manga in general. And so typically, uh, Borders would do buy four get one free, and I used to do that like crazy. That's how I got a chunk of these books. Um, but buy two get one free? And I was like, I have to take advantage of this before they realize what a horrible mistake they've made. And so when I, I went to work, came back immediately, went to Barnes and & Noble, and, uh, and I'm thinking all the time, like, if I get this one and that one, then I'll, I'll get that one for free, and then I'll get this one and that one. So anyway, but they, when I got there, there was this table, and it was like, come get all this neat swag. So, obviously, they have posters there. So this is actually what I went to get that Saturday. This is the poster for Final Fantasy Type O, uh, the Reaper of the Icy Blade. Looks pretty cool. I know nothing about it. But the Type O limited edition that I got came with a manga. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what this all is. This is from Yen Press. Um, pretty cool. So, as a Final Fantasy fanatic, I had to show up and at least get that. But there are other posters too. This one's uh, Hatsune Miku. I don't actually have that manga yet. That's pretty cool. Um, they had one of uh, Sword Art Online, Phantom Bullet. And on the back, The Isolator. Both of those are also done by Yen Press. And uh, Miku is Dark Horse, in case anyone actually cares. Um, then this one is Trailer Park Fay Bloodless Synchro. I know nothing of this. Looks kind of badass, but I got it. I mean, it was there sitting on the table. Didn't want it to be lonely. And then this one is Akame Got Killed. Again, have no clue about it, but uh, it was there. It's also done by Empress. Um, and then we got Durr! It's Durara. But yeah, never read it, don't know about it, maybe one day. I'm too interested in my stuff, like there's manga, and then there's manga I'm interested in, and then there's manga I'm super interested in, but that's all that I can really get to because it's so large. So this isn't an unboxing, uh, it's an unbagging. So, just kind of wanted to show you guys briefly, pardon me Squall. So, first thing, also on that table, they had these two little, like, preview books. This one's obviously Tokyo Ghoul. It's got a bunch of stuff in here. It's just from Viz saying, hey, we've got some stuff coming out. Uh, Made Sama, Tokyo Ghoul, Ultraman. Eh, but it was free. And this one is Kodansha's sampler. Um, stuff like uh, Attack on Titan, obviously. And then on the back, it's got, like, Fairy Tale, Blue Mistral. A whole fairy tale series featuring fan favorite Wendy Slayer, or sorry, Wendy Dragon Slayer. 
Um, yeah, a new series from the guy that did Gantz. Kind of interested in that. I haven't even finished Gantz. Um, but cool. Glad to know he's not been forgotten about. Uh, so these, this is Pollock Ray. Um, a Sense of Deja Vu. This is Volumes 2 and 3. I already have one. So, just catching up. This is mainly like a catch-up uh, binge. I got a couple new stuff. Um, a couple new things. But uh, it was mainly just catch-up. So there's the Ice Reaper. Uh, really excited. Just the fact that they have Final Fantasy manga in the US now. Really neat. Uh, Fairy Tale 40. There she is now, actually, come to think of it. And there's a giant cut in the back. I didn't even notice that. Well, shit. Oh well. Yeah, Fairy Tale 40. Which is good, because I was missing 40. I had 39 and 41, because it was on sale or something, I don't know. And uh, Spice and Wolf. Volumes 9 and 10, once again I had 1 through 8, and a couple of the novels, but don't have these. And I don't read books unless I have them, like I'm not, I don't go online and figure out stuff later on, so I'm, I'm glad I can catch up on all these, especially Soul Eater, this is volumes 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, the finale. Um, there's all of those really fast. That means Soul Eater is done. And I loved this, even before it was cool, back when it was just barely coming out, um, because uh, there was a magazine, like Square Enix had a magazine in Japan, and that's who published it. And I found out about it that way, and uh, I was really excited, and so I bought the first volume when it came out, the second volume, the third volume, and then, kind of like everything, once it gets an anime, it just like explodes, and then there's a thousand books and a thousand, and then you, then you lose track. So I've kind of lost track. But now that it's done, I have an opportunity to get back into it. And I'm actually, pardon me. Yes. It is finished. The last volume of that is, a. Uh, oh, the last volume of that's holographic. That's kind of cool. The text is anyhow. And then, um, those are all catch-up books. And then these are new. Uh, I've been wanting to get into this for a while. Prophecy. Looks like that. Um, Vertical Comics publishes it. I don't know much about it, but it looks badass. And it's got the, uh, the like, don't read this unless you're an adult label on it. So I'm pretty excited. Um, pretty cool. I haven't had a new series in a while. And then Tokyo Ghoul. Um, this is done by Viz, Team Plus. I know nothing about it other than the world loves it right now. And I was like, maybe I'll give it a shot. And it looks crazy. There's a lot of guts and, like, explosions and whatnot in it. So I'm excited to check that out. And it's Viz Signature. Viz Signature is like a, uh, like an adult Viz. Um, I think, like, 20th Century Boys is done by Viz Signature. Stuff like that. Um, then I got these ones. Again, these are brand new. Don't know anything about them. Ubel, Ubel, a lot. Uh, but they were big. Also, like warning, parental advisory. And I like the bigger manga. Um, and I like the parental advisory manga, to be honest, just because I feel more uh, grown up reading them. I mean, Pokemon Adventures, the one was awesome manga I've ever read in my life. I'm not going to knock Pokemon Adventure, but there's something more than... There's a, there's a difference between uh, like the awesome that you can share with the seven-year-old kids, and then there's the awesome that uh, you don't want to share with the seven-year-old kids. And they're still both awesome in their own right, but uh, I, have, I have so much of the seven-year-old manga. Um, Pokemon Adventure and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dragon Ball and this and that. Well, Dragon Balls. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, uh, Master Keaton. And I've been so psyched ever since I I knew it was a thing. But it's uh, Naoki Urasawa. He is illustrating another manga. This one isn't written by him. And so I'm not sure if it's 
going to be as good as like 20th Century or, or Monster or Pluto or any of them, but the fact that he is so damn particular, like to a point where he's almost stubbornly particular um, about who he works with and what he does, I doubt that he'll put his name on anything that's going to flop. Um, also done by Viz Signature. I'm really excited because I said forever that uh, Monster, well, it was like Death Note first, and I was like comparing everything to Death Note, and oh, not as good as Death Note, not as good as Death Note, and then I found Monster, and Monster was so much better than Death Note on so many different levels, I was like, that's the best, nothing can beat it, absolutely nothing, and I was like, wait, he's done more stuff in the US, and then 20th Century Boys, and like, Death Note, Monster, just barely. But Monster is better. 20th Century Board is like, there. So good. At least for me, so good. So good. On like a personal spiritual level. Uh, Sword Art Online. Um, this is actually the first manga that I've got from it. Uh, so I'll, I'll wait and see. They've got so much crud. There's manga and anime and uh, there's light novels now. This is Umi Neko, number three. Uh, Turn of the Golden Witch. So I have one and two, and there's like nine out, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm very far behind. But uh, Umineko's just like uh, Higurashi, and it's told from different perspectives and little chapters. The same story from different perspectives and little chapters, just slight variations here and there and there. And uh, this is a different story, completely different from Higurashi, but the same person that uh, wrote it. Higurashi was actually a game before it was an anime or a manga or whatever you pick is first. And then this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Volumes 1 and 2. And these are hardbound. Um, really cool. I love it when, you know how I like what I said that when one manga is big, like substantial? It makes me feel even more legit when it's big and substantial and freaking hardbound. So I'm super psyched for these. Um, I Again, I know very little about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, although it's like huge and complicated, and there's a bunch of different JoJo's and, and this and that, and all of the people that I associate with have been saying that it's the coolest thing ever, and they've watched all of the anime, which apparently is, like, really impressive, because it's expansive and massive. So, this is my chance to get into it, and, uh, pretty dang excited. I hope they come out fast. Um, that's the other thing. I really don't like getting into series and then having to wait like four or five months. Like freaking Blue Exorcist uh, come out with one volume every year. That's not something I'm okay with. That's actually why I stopped reading Raid Master because I had to. Like they just wouldn't publish anymore. Tokyo Pop was dying. And then uh, they wouldn't publish uh, 33, 34, 35. And then like four years pass and I'm an adult at this point and I like have a job and crap and I don't have time. And then all of a sudden the big... Omnibus comes out with all three, and uh, I read the first, I read 33, and then I was like, I, I can't, I have other crap to do, and I've never finished it, and now it's like a personal thing, like I'm almost worried that when I finish it, it will end, which it will, which is stupid, because what if I die tomorrow and I never know what happens to Haru and Ellie and crap like that. I mean, you know, kind of like you know that Goku's going to be brought back to life and kill Freeze and blah 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 blah, but you don't know... So I should finish it. But I want to reread it. And that's the daunting task because there's 35 volumes in the series. Um, but I will still say, like, Undisputed, that's the best adventure type manga ever. There's, there's like, mystery and there's science fiction and there's uh, horror and there's uh, fantasy and crap like that. But as far as, like, adventure, like Dragon Ball... Uh, Raid Master beats Dragon Ball. Now, there's a level of badass that Dragon Ball reaches that Raid Master could never ever reach, that nothing could ever ever reach. Like, Grand Logging are close. Mm. The Resurrection of F comes out in theaters August 4th. I have tickets already, so if you don't have your tickets, freaking get your tickets because it's going to be like only seven days or something like that, and it's like 10 days away, so get your crap. Um, there was someone else I was going to talk about. Oh, Amiibo. The Paulantina Amiibo comes out today. 
um, we're hours away, actually. Like, this video will post... I'll, I'll post this video after it's out, and there will be a giant ruckus about it. And I'm sure you'll all be aware, if you even care. But uh, it's an Amazon exclusive. comes out today. I have, like, three reminders on my phone. Um, so I can be waiting, and and uh, there's that. So, yeah. And I haven't even posted the old video yet. I'll, I'll post it, and then wait a couple days, and then post this one. Or whatever if it even matters, and, uh, because my computer died, but I have a better computer now, so hopefully I'll be able to post things, um, so that's it, tell me what you think, if you guys have read any of these, I'm really excited for the Final Fantasy one, I'm really excited for Master Keaton, I'm really excited for JoJo's, semi-excited for Tokyo Ghoul, I kind of just want to see what the heck it's about, I'm excited for Prophecy, um, excited that I can finish, or get up to the date with, uh, Spice and Wolf. Um, and if it seems like a lot, I'm really not trying to show off. It's like... I literally buy nothing else. Like, I eat Top Ramen five meals a day. Or five meals a day. Five meals a week. Um, I, I save all of my money. Basically, so I can do this. And I only do this, like, once a year. That's why I'm so far behind in, in different series. Because it'll come out and I'll be like, Oh, cool, I'll come back for you later. I just buy nothing at retail price, so I wait for sales like this, or stuff on, or uh, sales on right stuff. Now I'm just rambling, really. Mm. I have nothing else to tell you. Um, but yeah. Later.